This is a series of 100 films about Japanese foods that I've eaten, and this is a film about how local places in Japan express themselves through noodles. Self-introductions are really important in Japan. They're basically a short speech where you tell others about yourself. And while natural in Japanese, they're just painful to listen to in English. You have to tell people your name, your age, what you do for a living, and where you're from. And this is the opportunity where you say, well, I'm from so-and-so place, and this is what our famous local cuisine is. Which can be a bit strange for people in the English-speaking world. It's not like Americans define people from, say, you know, Omaha by their association with, say, Raisin Bran, Yakusoku. But if you're from Japan, your hometown is defined by food. And with that in mind, a lot of places in Japan define themselves by the local noodles. Now, ramen is a huge thing all over North America these days. Every hipster neighborhood has a ramen place. But in Japan, it's taken even more seriously. Yakusoku. Three places are super famous for ramen. Sapporo, Fukuoka, and Yokohama. And they argue over who has the best. The second main kind of noodles in Japan is soba. However, yakisoba, just so you know, is made with ramen noodles. Ramen is the yellow noodles. Actual soba is a buckwheat noodle, and soba noodles are gray because of that said buckwheat. And the third major noodle is udon, which are white and a lot thicker. Now, when you're eating hot noodles, it's very important to know that the slurping is okay. Usually these noodles are served in a bowl of hot soup, and people slurp the noodles to avoid burning their tongues. The lips are less sensitive to heat. That's something to note. And one thing to know is that many restaurants offer you a free refill of noodles, so it's always good to ask. In the summertime, cold soba is popular. It's usually served with a side of tempura, and we also have ice ramen, which is cold ramen noodles served with raw cucumber, and also somen, which is a glass noodle. Uh, both, again, are very common when they're mixed in with salads. So there are so many variations on these noodles that you could make a hundred films just about noodles in Japan. That's how crazy it gets. Where can I get it? That's right, you guessed it, the Sapporo Ramen Alley in Suskino. Noodle shops are on every corner in Asia, but this is the most famous place for ramen noodles in Japan. If you're new to Japan, you'll probably want to start in Tokyo. Go to Haneda Airport. Fly to Chitose International Airport. From there, take the Chitose Line to Sapporo Station. Transfer to the Namboku Subway Line. Take it to Suskino Station. Go out the Cisco Building below the Nika Whiskey Man. Turn left and walk around the block. It should take about two minutes. The ramen alley is right across the street from you, and be careful, it's narrow and easy to miss. As always, keep in mind this information may be at a date by the time you're watching this. The word of the day. The word of the day is yakusoku. This means reservation in Japanese. Again, it isn't necessarily a word that you may need if you're going to a ramen restaurant, but it might be important if you're going to some fancy place. As always, feel free to watch this film 10 more times and repeat along with me. Next time. So that's it until next time when we talk about what happened when Japan crossed Chinese food with pizza. So until then, sayonara. <laughs>